In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can quickly customize the review form with Listing Pro. To do this, we're going to activate one of the available add-ons in the Listing Pro Command Center. If you get value from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It'll be greatly appreciated. Also, if you haven't checked out the other videos in the Listing Pro series, there'll be a playlist at the end of the video. Let's get into it. So first, let's just take a quick look at the standard review form. If we go down here on our demo site and we click on say Nexus, we can just have a quick look here, rate us and write a review. So this form here is straight out of the box and that's what you'll get when you set up your standard listing pro directory. What we're going to look at today is how we can customize this form. To do that, we go back to our admin panel and we go down to listing pro command center. And here you'll have a few options and one of them is the visualizer within the visualizer there's two add-ons here we've got the multi-criteria rating and the fes form builder the one we're going to look at just now is the multi-criteria rating if we just activate this and now if we go back to our site and do a refresh and we scroll down and we'll hit on nexus again we can take a look at the rate us and write a review form and there you go we can see the multi-criteria rating has been activated and we've got a couple of different options there like the cleanliness, ambience, service and price. And these are actually all customizable, but it can be activated and the default will be what you see here. Now, if we want to customize it, we just go back over to our admin and we click on edit. If we click on edit against this global criteria, this is the criteria we see if we don't alter it at all and don't assign a new criteria to a category. So let's say we want to add category specific criteria for services, for example. What you need to do is head down here, hit services in the add new category group, and we'll go add, and then we'll hit edit for group for services. So here we're going to put our criteria that's going to appear for any listing within the services category. So we might have professionalism, then we can add, say, quality, and we might also add, say, responsiveness, and we might just add one more applicable to, say, services, which would be value. And we're going to hit save there. And if we go back over to our directory and do a refresh, scroll down, we'll hit on Nexus because it's services, we should see that this is now not the default. And we're missing value there for some reason. Let's just take a quick look and see what happened there. Edit, mustn't have hit save. So I value, add, save, go back here, quick refresh. And there we go. So for any listing that has the category of services, this is the criteria that they can be rated against. It's just another way of customizing your directory to align better with the needs of the type of listings that you have. Another category that we have in this directory, restaurant, we might want to update these ones as well. So they're not the, the default. So let's just quickly do that. We'll take a look at what comes up the restaurants and it will be the standard, this cleanliness, service, ambience and price. So we're going to change this. We'll go back over here and we're going to pick restaurant add, and then we'll go to edit for restaurants. And then we'll put in our new criteria. So I'm going to go with vegetarian options, child friendly, atmosphere, add and service, add, and then hit save. Now, if we go back over to our directory and do a refresh and we'll have a look at this. So now we can see this. So for restaurants, we've got vegetarian options, child friendly, atmosphere and service. And, you know, you can whichever star ratings and do the submit. Um, and just to prove the point now, back over on a business that has a service category assigned to it, say Nexus, if we scroll down here, it's got the service criteria associated with it. Again, just a great way of customizing your directory and aligning it with appropriate criteria for that category. So you might have noticed earlier, when we were on the Listing Pro Command Center, we had this FES form builder. Now what this does, it allows you to customize the details that collect when a new listing is added. So if we go back over to our demo directory and we hit add listing, go with the free one just to bring it up. So all these details are captured when a new listing is, is added. And these are customizable via this form. If you go back to the admin panel, I've just activated it here. And now we click edit. All of those fields are customizable. You can add more fields, you can remove them, you can edit their details. So the text that displays, you can see here, this is listing title and staple and fancy hotel. If we go back over here, you can see that. So you can update the placeholder text if you want. 
You can also add a whole new section by add new section. You give it a label, call it test, save, and then you can add new fields to that section. It's just another way of customizing your directory to make it work for your particular circumstances. So give that one a go. If you have any questions or feedback on it, just drop a note in the comments. We'll catch you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.